Hello. Today it's my great privilege to be here criticizing the Salvador Mundi by the great Leonardo da Vinci. This is a very special opportunity as the Salvador here almost never goes out in public and very rarely grants criticism. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, first off, Mr. Salvador, thank you for this opportunity. It's really my great pleasure. Now, there's something that's on everyone's mind that I really just have to get out of the way, and there's no delicate way of putting it, so I'm just going to come out and say it. You are ugly. They really let you go out looking like that? I mean, damn, it's, it's a look, certainly, but I, it's not one I would endorse. Constructive criticism. You may want to reconsider that color choice. And uh, while you're at it, you probably want to reconsider, you know, kind of the whole kind of face area. Just, just the whole general face area. Well, you, both the face and that blank, stupid expression that you've got on all the time. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being ugly, necessarily. I mean, I, I have a cousin who's... He's ugly, and it certainly hasn't hurt his career, you know, in the circus. But I just have to tell you, you are ugly. That's just a fact of nature. Now, maybe you thought you could hide your ugliness behind that nice, soft focus effect. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but you're not fooling anyone. What, are you supposed to be a still from early 90s VHS pornography or some Hallmark Channel original or something? I mean, Christ, I think it just makes you look worse. I mean, where is your chin? Why is your whole face just one big pile of mush? What did your old master smear Vaseline or something all over his eyes while painting you? Getting all greased up for the old salvator. Mmm, now there's an image for you. Now while on the subject of your old master, we really can't be letting him off the hook now, can we? As uh, far as technique goes, um, uh, I'm guessing he probably used some sort of a brush, you know? Some various pigments as well. Who cares though? Ugly is ugly, no matter how it's made. He was one uh, lazy son of a bitch, too. I mean, he didn't even add a background. He just opened Photoshop, selected the paint bucket tool, and flood filled that sucker. He just, just flooded it. Probably spent 90% of his time, you know, wanking off on those curly hairs. He was like, ooh, those curls, ooh, so profound, so realistic, ooh. Because, you know, great art, it's all about those curly hairs, after all. You can quote me on that one. Not much of a conversation was started. I think I might even go a step further, though. I think maybe you just don't say anything because you really don't have anything worth saying. In short, you're a bore. And even just being in this room with you, even just looking at you, it's making me want to fall asleep. All the other paintings, they blab on and on about all their adventures and their legacies and their liaisons over the years. I mean, shit, even the Mona Lisa, who we all agree is really no stunner. At least she's been out there working it, inspiring generations. You, on the other hand, you've been sitting in some dark corner trying to hide your shame from the world. And with good reason, too, I might add. Now, maybe you're thinking you can let your symbolism speak for you. And I have seen symbolism done well, but I certainly wouldn't say you're pulling it off. Uh, I mean, because first off, what is the deal with that hand? Is that some sort of gang sign? Am I supposed to feel inspired by your fingering here? And what the hell is going on with that orb? What kind of bullshit optics are those? It looks like some early CGI. Now, I know some of you other critics out there will be wanting to rush to the Salvator's defense here with the old Oh, but the herb is made of rock crystal and therefore demonstrates an excellent understanding of light and optics. Well, here's my well-reasoned counterpoint. How about a rock crystal orb up your ass? There's some shitty optics for you. I actually think it's kind of cute, personally, that you've got your own little fan club there. But let me address those fans directly, because they are, you know, supposedly learned people and I think it's worth hearing what they have to say on your behalf. So, by now, you are undoubtedly are thinking, oh, this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the painting's not as bad as all of that. I mean, it's got that special Leonardo touch after all. You know, that unplaceable something something. That special Leonardo sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, what are you, stupid or something? If Leonardo drags his ass across the canvas like a dog, you think that's good art too? No! That's shit! That's shit, Leonardo! And this painting is shit! You are shit! No, the only place for a painting like you 
is in a retirement home for old nuns. And they wouldn't put you in the hallways or the dining room or the kitchen area, you know, next to the pictures of kitty cats and Jesus' inflamed heart. No, they'd put you in the bathroom. You belong in the bathroom in an old nun's home. In short, I guess we could say, you suck. That's my criticism. One star out of five. And if you think this is good art, well, then you're an uncultured chump. That's another criticism for you. That one free of charge. Now, I'm going to go put this painting where it belongs and take a nice, long piss.